Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 22nd June 2019. I am Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, you may visit our website superiorprofit.co. Before I begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument, Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we will look at oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. In general, for swing trading, we like to align the trades with the market's direction. We'll study that using NASDAQ and NYSE market bread and technical analysis of the market ETFs. In addition to aligning the trades with the market's direction, we like to align them with industry strength. We'll study that using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may review some of the recent trade ideas shared in our Traders Forum. You may also visit the Traders Forum from our website. It is open to the public. And we'll try to identify potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis with oil. We are looking at oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on or entry chart. Together we call this at a glance template because this template helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. If you watched my earlier market roundups, you would know that when oil was around this area, looking at the longer term memory resistance line, I suggested caution. That was the same time that the daily chart displayed the unique Q headwind signal, the possible reversal signal. From there, price dropped significantly. You could take a short trade and profit handsomely from that. There was a trend following Q go with flow short trade setup on this magenta candle. From there, price dropped. Near the very bottom, we again had the bullish headwind possible reversal signal that could catch the very bottom of oil. On this day, in the Twitter forum page, I analyzed oil along with energy sector stocks. I had taken a long position in US oil at that time using call options. That position had hit 40% profit on this day and I had booked partial profit. As oil was strong, I had no reason to exit the full position. I continued to hold partial position. And as of Friday, that position has more than 120% profit. I will continue to hold the remaining position with trailing stop using Q protection signal and keep an eye on the ETF to see if it is reversing from the 
next memory resistance trend line. If it reverses from there, I will book profit. And if it continues to go up from the memory resistance line, I will continue to hold my remaining position with trailing stop. That is how we can book partial profit once the risk resistance is covered and hold partial position trying to let profit run. Gold ETF GLD. This week gold had a very bullish move. In the weekly chart, it could pierce through multiple long term memory trend line resistance and it went up with very high activity. The weekly candle color and shape are bullish. In the daily chart also it is very bullish and it is overbought in the daily chart as well as in the weekly chart. Therefore though gold is bullish we are not going to chase gold now. If you already took a long position you may continue to hold it otherwise you may not take a long position in gold right now. What was the last optimal entry point for gold? In my earlier weekly market roundups I had talked about gold being inside a triangle pattern that is memory resistance and memory support lines when gold was in this area. When price broke out of the triangle pattern on this candle you could take a long position using the gap intraday entry technique. Your stop would be just below the gap entry days low and you could book partial profit the very next day when the risk distance was covered. And you would continue to hold the remaining position with trailing stop as gold continued to go up. Right now it is overbought and you may avoid taking any new long position in gold. From commodities analysis we move on to market level analysis. Let's start with the market ETFs. This is S&P 500 ETF SPY. SPY had a bullish move this week. It has bullish weekly candle color for three weeks now. In the daily chart also price went up. Is there any reason for caution? Yes there is because the weekly is at a potential triple top. And in daily we had doji candles both on Thursday and Friday. Thursday had a doji candle with high bullish activity and Friday had a doji candle with high bearish activity. The doji candles happen at a previous watermark resistance level. There is a possibility that SPY will roll over from here and if that happens you may get very low risk shorting opportunity either in SPY or probably even better in one of the fundamentally weak stocks that are constituents of SPY. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA. DIA is also bullish in the weekly chart and the daily chart. However, there are reasons for caution as it was true for SPY. The weekly is near a memory resistance level. Daily had doji candles on Thursday and Friday which happened at the previous watermark resistance level. Similar to SPY, if this rolls over from here, it may give 
low risk shorting opportunities either in dia or in one of its constituent stocks nasdaq etf qqq this is bullish in the weekly chart outperforming the market shown by the relative performance going up in the daily chart also it is bullish there is reason for caution because the weekly is at watermark resistance level a level created by a bearish headwind from where price could drop significantly for two times now it is at the same price point for the third time there is a possibility that it will create a triple top at this price level in the weekly chart it is bullish in the daily chart it is bullish also however there is some reason for caution in the daily as well on thursday we had a gap up open with high activity and on friday we had a doji candle again with high activity and the doji candle closed just below the memory support line you may keep an eye on qqq to see if it is able to go down from here if it goes down it may keep low risk shorting opportunity Russell 2000 ETF IWM this ETF was the weakest of the four market ETFs that is shown by the relative performance line tilting down and this is the only ETF that is inside triangle pattern both in the weekly as well as in the daily chart here the weekly has an indecisive shape candle on friday price reversed and it displayed a bear release signal if the market rolls over from here then russell 2000 that is small cap etf may give the easiest shorting opportunities we saw from the market etf analysis that though the market is bullish there are reasons for being cautious and not take too many long trades from market breadth study we reached the same conclusion this is the market breadth chart here we are looking at the nasdaq composite index and nyse composite index both using weekly charts along with three pairs of internals new high low advanced decline and up down volume both nasdaq and nyse went up strongly the weekly candles shape and color both are bullish however there is memory resistance in nyse and though the indices went up the market breadth is overall bearish advance decline and up down volume both are bearish not something that you would expect looking at the bullish candles in the market indices they are sending conflicting signals and the market is at or near all time high that is why you may be cautious avoid taking long trades especially in stocks that are technically overbought or fundamentally overvalued one month sector performance the red bar represents performance of current week green bar performance of previous week 
blue bar performance of two weeks before that. This week 10 of the sectors went up that shows a bullish picture at the sector level. Only consumer staples decline. Energy had a big reversal in the two previous periods energy dropped significantly. Let's have a look at the sectors using sector scorecard and heat map. Sector scorecard and heat map. This shows the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 days, 5 days, etc. Cyan color represents strength and magenta represents weakness. The pace column shows acceleration and deceleration. Cyan represents acceleration and magenta represents deceleration. Using this scorecard, you can instantly see that energy and healthcare are the strongest sectors now and the weakest ones are real estate, financials and consumer staples. Which ones are accelerating? These are communication services and industrials. And the decelerating sectors are materials and consumer discretionary. You could look for buying opportunities in either the strongest sectors or the most accelerating sectors. That would be energy, healthcare, communication services and industrials. And if you are looking for shorting opportunities, you might look for them in the weakest sectors or the most decelerating sectors. That would be materials, consumer discretionary, financials and consumer staples. That is based on the sector level analytics. However, sector level is too broad to make more accurate trading decisions you may drill down to the industry level and buy in the strongest industries and look for shorting opportunities in the weakest industries. Industry scorecard and heat map. Cyan is strength and magenta is weakness. Let's try to look for 360 degree trade setups. That is where the industry, fundamental and technical strengths are aligned. We can look for buying opportunities from the 10 strongest industries. Out of them, many are in energy sector. That is expected because energy is the best performing sector of this week. If we look at coal and consumable fuels, we can see it was very weak earlier. The score was in magenta color and now it switched to strength. 5 day score is in cyan color. The pace 5 day column is showing that it is accelerating at the same time. Let's look at the stocks in this industry. We can find CEIX in coal and consumable fuels industry. The valuation is in cyan color showing that it is undervalued. It has positive earning growth over the last one year earnings period. Earnings quality is robust shown in cyan color and it has a short squeeze potential. It is just 10% above 52 week low. Therefore, if you are able to get a technical buy setup, that may be a swing long trading opportunity as well as a possible long term investment opportunity. This is CEIX using Q at a glance template. 
the weekly candle shape and color both are bullish it also displayed a bull release signal weekly went up with very high activity weekly reversed from the watermark support level in fact it seems to come to the low point and reverse from there creating a false downside breakout in the daily chart it displayed the bullish headwind possible reversal signal that could catch the very bottom and from there price went up on friday it could break above the memory resistance trend line and friday volume was extremely high you could consider taking a long trade at the end of friday using a breakout long trade setup entering the trade just at market close putting stop just below friday's low if the stock continues to go up you may book initial profit at least on partial position at the upper boundary level which is also the level of the declining yellow direction line could there be other buying opportunities among pr stocks of ceix we could look for the pr stocks by entering the root stock in q vital it will carry out multiple steps first it will find some basic detail about the stock second it will find the pr stocks and thirdly it will find the detailed statistics vital statistics of the pr stocks among the pr stocks you will find two other stocks arch and arlp those are also undervalued stocks like ceix and they have positive earnings growth as well before buying them you will look for a possible technical buy trade setup i looked up the stocks using q charts and didn't find any technical buy point right now the market is at a very high price point several etfs are near triple top in the weekly chart and we had doji candles in multiple etfs on friday would it not be nice to start to short list possible shorting opportunities you would look for them in the weakest industries these are the 10 weakest industries of the week they are shown by magenta color under 5 day period consumer discretionary appears multiple times in the list of 10 worst performing industries interestingly consumer discretionary is the most decelerating sector you can find out from the sector scorecard here the base column shows that consumer discretionary is the most decelerating sector among the weakest consumer discretionary industries home building immediately catches my attention because it was strong earlier shown by cyan color and now it is one of the weakest industries we may look for shorting opportunities in home building that would give us possible shorting opportunities at the very top let's look at the home building stocks kb home kbh is one of them 
this has medium valuation it is neither overvalued nor undervalued valuation is in yellow color however it has negative and decelerating earnings growth in the latest quarter therefore in terms of earnings growth it is fundamentally weak and you may look for a shorting opportunity it has earnings nearby on 26 june if you are taking a short trade before that you may keep the earnings date in mind and choose a strategy that is not hurt by the nearby earnings date the stock is very close to 52 week high just 12 percent below 52 week high therefore if you have a short trade setup that will give a short the top opportunity kb home using the weekly daily at a glance template the weekly backdrop candle color is magenta bearish the shape is also bearish in the daily price was inside a triangle pattern formed by resistance memory at the top support memory at the bottom on friday price decisively closed below the memory support line friday had higher than average activity it dropped with extreme bearish pressure on friday you could take a short trade on friday itself however there is a memory support in the weekly chart you may be aware of that price may differ from that memory support line those were the regular market topics let me summarize the market is clearly bullish it went up for last few weeks however friday was somewhat bearish it displayed doji shaped candle in multiple market etfs and all the market etfs are near all-time high except for iwm several etfs are also at possible triple top level in the weekly chart market breadth also is bearish it is not in alignment with the bullish strength of the market whatever be the market condition you are always able to find 360 degree trades those are high probability low risk trades by aligning forces from the sector industry level fundamental level as well as technical level if you visit our forum from the home page you will find many 360 degrees analysis of stocks giving possible buy setups or short setups the forum is open to the public i share trade ideas by analyzing stocks in the live market not looking back on historical charts you may go through the latest posts to see how you can identify enter and manage high probability low risk trades using 360 degrees analysis that is all that i plan to share in today's session thank you for attending i look forward to seeing you in our next session have a great week and trade profitably